When you try and decide where where the best place is to winter feed, whether it's bale grazing, whether it's rolling out bales, whatever it is, um, pick a spot that's going to do you some good. Quite often that's not right by the barn or the yard where you've been feeding. You know, move it a little farther, bale graze out a little farther, get it right on the ground, get it on poor pasture, use it as a way to to fertilize and yet manage it in such a way that you're not nutrient loading and overloading those sites. The soil fertility tests are unreal. They're just everything except nitrogen is above board. And when we seed here, we only put 30 to 40 pounds of N on anyway with the seed, and that's the only amount of uh, fertilizer we put on with it. So we're trying to get the cattle to do all our um, fertility program and the big roots on the brassicas to help break down and add organic matter. I think some people are worried about compaction and usually cows are on those bunches when the ground's hard as a rock. It's frozen in the winter and, and there, there is no compaction and, uh, and they poop and urinate out there, leave all that good stuff out there and, and it makes a lot of sense to me. When deciding to start bale grazing years ago, um, a lot of it was a good way to address very poor pasture land. We didn't have any shortage of it, we still don't. Uh, it's a great tool for that. And secondly, it leaves the nutrients behind on the ground where you want it. You know, we, we try and move around where we bale graze, um, not bale grazing in the same spots all the time. Um, having said that, some, some pastures, if they're bad enough, can benefit from, you know, being bale grazed across twice. I picked an area where I had a bit of a hilltop in it and there was a whole pile of dead areas, oh, some the size of your truck. And I would focus on putting a bale in those spots and you notice a year after it would, I would have grass there and two years of doing that we actually hayed that piece. In the first year you might have grazed a cow and 50 acres out there, it was awful. With the swath grazing uh, the past 10 years, it's, uh, it's changed this land. To, it's, it's very, very rich land. It'll, uh, the production off it is, it's, it's changed. You can see it each year getting bigger and bigger. We built these fences 20 years ago with one foot of spacing between each wire. And now the bottom wire is only six inches off the ground in places. So we're building topsoil by growing tall grass and uh, using it in our system. I think our soil is getting better. If you're growing corn for the first time, fertilizer costs can be substantial. But like we've been doing this for about eight years now, and just because the cows are spreading that manure across the whole field, you know, every year, our nutrient levels of, are up high enough now that, that basically we're growing between, you know, it can be as low as 10 ton to the acre and as high as 15 ton to the acre of corn on basically no added fertilizer. We'll soil test the land and find out what we need exactly, but it's been very low in the last few years just because of all of the manure that's being spread. We've brought the organic matter from about 3.2% uh, to 5.7% in, I think, about 15 years. The big thing that's neat to see, um, when you get old pasture health, healthy again, um, a lot of that we've seen by bale grazing, the different plant species that come through is phenomenal. And these aren't seeds that came in in the hay. These are plants that you haven't seen in 10 years, never seen them here that I know of. And you get the soil healthy and all of a sudden plants come. Those seeds are there, they're waiting for it. Uh, it's, that's one of the neatest, uh, neatest sides to pasture improvement. We want to leave it in a better state than when we started partly for our children, our grandchildren, or whoever the next generation may be farming. So when we look at these different winter feeding systems, we're not just taking from the land, we're also giving back to the land.